Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now and it's going to be focused on twin flame energies, okay? Okay, so what I'm seeing from the cards is an indication of a relationship that you have with a person. You may feel this very powerful connection to them. It could be that, you know, the two of you have this understanding of each another. And this could be, you know, the type of person that you see yourself wanting to be with okay so let's clarify this energy i'm seeing here that you have a lot of emotions for this individual you see them as someone that's uh, very attractive right and uh, there may have been an instantaneous attraction between you and this individual and you feel like it has a lot of potential to grow it has a lot of potential to blossom into something very beautiful the card that i'm picking up is an indication of a fear that you are possessing in relation to this twin flame connection you may feel as if you've missed an opportunity or that you may not have another opportunity with this individual to either impress them or to have them be a part of your life so that is a genuine big fear that is existing in your world right now and it's something that scares you to a very large degree it's something that is a cause of concern you don't really know where you stand with this individual it feels as if you know you're trying to look closely you're trying to understand it on a deeper level but the more and more you are, are connected to this energy the more you feel as if you know the two of you may have um, hit a roadblock and it could be difficult to, to overcome it I see from your intention, it's uh, not easy to let go of this individual and you intend on, you know, staying connected to them for as long as you can. I feel like your objective is to um, try to keep them a part of your life. If you're communicating to them, you want them to be, you know, around uh, you constantly or you could be uh, trying to maintain communication if you can with this individual. So I feel like you know, you want to keep them close, but then someone is not communicating. That's what I'm picking up from these cards. And that might be presenting you with some difficulties. It feels as if someone may have stopped communicating or not making an initiative to communicate. And it could be, you know, jeopardizing your future plans. You could be feeling that um, if this person is not going to talk to you, how, how are you going to, you know, maintain that connection? How are you going to make things work? How are the two of you going to resolve some of these difficulties that were experienced in the course of this situation, right? So I do pick up from the cards that um, there's a great difficulty in terms of achieving this. So at one point, the two of you had a pretty strong connection, right? And it may have felt as if the two of you were being guided by instinct, being guided by this desire to maintain this uh, very strong and powerful connection. And I feel like in terms of uh, this relationship, you do feel like, um, you know, there's a level of uncertainty 
of whether this connection can be maintained in the long term. So another interesting thing that I'm noting from the cards is a fear of being alone. A fear of this person leaving and uh, being heartbroken over the situation, right? So I feel like there's a deep fear that this individual has left and that they may not come back. So these three cards alone are indicating to me that you're viewing this love connection as someone that has left and it's causing you a lot of pain because you still feel like um, what the two of you shared with each other was something that was very powerful. So you still feel that connection irrespective of the fact that there's this absence of their presence in your life and it's not an easy thing to contend with. It's not an easy thing to feel and experience given, you know, how um, powerful this magnetic attraction is, right? So let's look at the next card. I'm seeing a situation where there was once a lot of emotion, right? There was a lot of um, feelings, things that were very raw in nature in terms of the emotions. It was very powerful, uh, very overwhelming. It was uh, something that uh, the two of you may have felt uncertain about in the past. But uh, that sort of connection, it lasted for a very long time. And for some of you, you could be still feeling it. But you also have this fear that this individual is withdrawing from it because they are growing impatient. Or maybe you are growing impatient with the fact that right now, it's difficult to allow this uh, relationship to flourish like the way you would like for it to. And I feel like you're thinking a lot about this person but at the same time, you're aware of the fact that things have come to such a standstill that you don't know if this individual will choose to reconnect to you in the physical sense, even though the two of you are connected in the spiritual sense. So you have this understanding in the situation where you know what is preventing the two of you from coming together to a certain degree, but you also know that the uncertainty in the past of what has happened and that sort of back and forth energy where both you and this individual were trying to basically figure out what this connection was and, uh, you know, through the experiences and events that have been, you know, shaping the situation, there has been, a, you know, a lot of pain that was experienced along the way. There has been a lot of sadness that was experienced as a result of what has happened. So I do feel like, you know, someone has become very very protective of themselves preferably wanting to be by themselves you know wanting to be alone and what i also pick up from this particular energy is that there's this sort of frustration and moodiness connected to it but it's very um you know non-emotional in nature it's like someone uh, standing by themselves and thinking you know what am i going to do with the situation do i even want to fight for this anymore and there's a silence here. I feel like after the two of you may have went your separate ways or, um, you know, departed from each other, there was a silence that uh, was um, still, you know, ongoing. And it's still, you know, to this day having an effect upon this relationship. So I feel like you're hoping for them to reconnect to you. But at the same time, you feel uncertain if they ever will or if they will return to you in any shape or form. Now, uh, this situation could be, you know, a disaster because I sense that from your energy, you're feeling really lonely. You're feeling a sense of emptiness, right? And you're very guarded. But uh, at the same time, you know, you're feeling a sense of neglect. You're feeling uh, like, uh, you know, abandoned to a very large degree and you don't know what to do with regard to your feelings and emotions and how to overcome 
is uh, very uh, you know challenging times so i'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading you can find the link in the description box below if you want a personal reading you can get it at the tarotempress.com have a wonderful day and take care